It is Judgment Day for Rod Anderson, the former owner who torched Kansas City's landmark restaurant, the Hereford House. Amy Hawley is outside federal court where the U.S. attorney just spoke. Amy. Well, the federal judge sentenced Rod Anderson's two co-conspirators to 20 years and 15 years in prison without parole. The judge also sentenced Rod Anderson today to jail and gave him his sentence. And he said to the former restaurant owner he had never seen so many letters of support, stories of charitable works about a court defendant. But he still looked Anderson in the eye and said he is not above the law. Rod Anderson will serve 15 years in prison, the minimum the federal judge could have imposed today. And for that, Anderson's attorney was grateful. It's a difficult day for the Anderson family and for all of those uh, affected. In 2008, prosecutors say Anderson hired two men with a criminal history to torch his downtown landmark steak restaurant. They used 14 jugs of gasoline that caused an explosion. Prosecutors asked for a stiffer punishment today, saying surveillance video showing Anderson left no doubt he was involved. Anderson still argued today he's a good man with a long history of charitable works who's not guilty. A former employee says he feels Anderson is still a pillar of society whose character never would have allowed him to do such a thing. He was a, he was a great man and he was a, he was a loving man and he took care of everybody that worked for him and and he, he supported us always. And these defendants torched a Kansas City landmark for one reason and one reason only, and that is to, ex to extort millions of dollars um, out of insurance companies. They did it, and they cost, uh, nearly cost the lives of many innocent people, especially the firefighters and all of the first responders. Now, the judge kept the sentence, he said, to a minimum, partly taking in consideration the philanthropic life Rod Anderson once lived. Anderson, in an orange jumpsuit, waved goodbye with his hands handcuffed to a very teary friends and family in the courtroom today there to support him. Anderson says he will appeal. Live in downtown Kansas City, Amy Holly, 41 Action News.